For a long time, all us girls here at Oakley have wanted to come together and create a fun-filled multi-sport project. It revolves around traveling, experiencing new cultures, and being a part of stunning locations, and most of all, capturing all the incredible imagery of what we love. Japan, so much culture, so much life and lights and action and have always wanted to really go check it out. powder is so different from anything I've ever experienced. We couldn't believe how much snow there was. Every day it was snowing. It was like a really amazing winter in our eyes. I've always wanted to go and see what the free riding is like and ride powder and it's like a totally different world over here. Really exciting. でも今年の北海道の雪のコンディションはいいと思います。すごい軽いパウダースノーがたくさん積もってるし。
pretty scenes and all the pretty boys from all the movie screens and all the city noise. You try to speak your mind, but you can't hear your voice. You've got a lot of what you want. You've got a lot of what you want, don't you? How you dream of pop and how you dream of pop At first you've got a little, now you've got a lot Now you can't remember how you dreamed of something This is the first season I have taken the opportunity to spend a whole year to film, get myself out of what's comfortable and push myself in a totally different direction. Now you dream of pop and how you dream of pop and fresh you got It's cool brought us to this temple. It was very spiritual. They had those fortune letters and like smoke that was healing you, so it was very cool to see that. One thing I really admire in Japan is their foundation is built on respect and trust, and they take it very seriously. Now you can't remember how you dreamed of something. Amazing people with such kind hearts and generosity, technology, culture, and style. Russia? I always wanted to go to Russia for a long time. And it's always been intriguing and yeah, pretty much imagine the way it is, the way the way we see it now. Just like not that far but so far from what I know. The weather situation has been difficult. The whole time we've been here, it rained at least, I think, five days. We've been here, it's raining right now. It was raining, didn't want to pay for a lift pass, didn't want to even go up in the rain. And it must have been a holiday because it was all those kids and they were all sliding on their butts and like, that was so funny. It was the only day of the whole time we've been here where the mountain was crowded of people and everyone was just, it was family time and everyone was having fun. When the weather would break and the sun actually came out, it was amazing. Like this place has so much potential. On top of it, the snow was good and we had a lot of fun. got to hike up on top of the cornice and do some really, really fun lines. And then to come down and everyone's happy because they just got some good snow and everyone's pumped. And it just takes one line and make it all worth it. a place like this is like no one's here like none of my normal people are around it's not mainstream yet Russia isn't mainstream in any way so it's really cool to come to a resort where it's still like developing next five ten years it's gonna be amazing here It's a little bit like home, but 
40 years ago. And they had the Olympics in six years. It's gonna bring a lot to here because they're gonna have to open up the right way so that when everyone from around the world comes here, find it right. Excited to see how it's gonna change this place. And uh, yeah, I'll come back because those mountains are amazing and there's so much to do here. All this way, it's still This year has been totally different for me because, I mean, I still have done a few major contests, but I've taken a whole chunk of time and dedicated it to filming, and it's just making me so much more excited about snowboarding, and it's like learning how to snowboard all over again. I love that. So we got a call from Gretchen inviting us to come to Aspen. We had this really fun session at Buttermilk and invited Lauren and Lindsay, these two skater girls who, you know, they're not used to this kind of setup, but it was really cool to have some new faces up on the mountain. It's so inspiring to get to come out to a whole different environment and snowboard and ski with all these girls and see what they're good at. Exactly like we do. They do it and just ain't doing it like us. You know? Suck ass motherfucker. My 
personal pedigree so bona fide Cause a man of my stature ain't grown overnight The undisputed king of where poor folks reside Because every time I speak it be hope vocalized And you sitting bitch with them chickens about it isn't fair The sound system ain't shit but I was crystal clear We first name bass and sound and we bring them beer Plus I tipped the 50 last semester when the click was here Listen here, I ain't gonna get for a few days and being around all that, it was really hard to get into skate mode and get serious about skating, but we got to hit such sick parts along the way. Being on a road trip and being able to do what you love is so awesome. You know, just being able to skate all these rad parts and go have fun with your friends. such different skate styles and we're into skating different things but this road trip we both got to find stuff we were into and it just made it that much more fun. on a road trip and getting to skate is so awesome. We got to skate so many things and just being able to go out and have a good time and, and ride your skateboard. It just feels so good to be home and to be somewhere that I'm so familiar with. Is it clear?
like Bali. Surfing Bali is amazing for me. When you can just travel, you know, like meet some friends, good people, and enjoy the waves. place in itself. Everything from the food, the people, the art, and the temples. It really brings you back to that mystical era of what really Bali originated from years ago. Such a surreal experience, you know, we had a little weather issues, we got through it, we made the most of it, we all had a blast and went home with just great stories. Yeah, that's the point, you know, like just go surf, stay for four hours in the water, just surf, it's what I want to do, and then we figured out there. <laughs> Yeah, at first, I mean, like when I heard about it, I was really like psyched to come and then I thought that I wasn't going to get to go and I pretty much wrote it off and then three days ago the visas came through and I just was so pumped about coming to the Amazon and being on a really nice boat, having a chef and a captain and just riding for a week straight on the Amazon glassy water.
As the Oakley crew knew that I was going to be down here training and surfing and doing my thing, they thought it would be a great idea for the last stop to be Australia for the end of the movie. Ninety-five percent of the Australian population live on the coast, so surfing is a massive part of the lifestyle. Too, it's something that has been a part of our life you know, ever since we grew up here in Australia. Oh, gasoline from your shirt and blood of questions that no one could ever answer. I am to my head of all that I know. Seems like the best view is the one from below. We are. You know, Australia is one of the most uh, scenic countries in the entire world. So they really provide to the public, and it's such a beautiful country to go, you know, if you're just day tripping in and out. You say there's nothing wrong, but I don't hear I get stuck in the town that makes no sound. Getting down in the town that makes no sound. I will burn. Went down to Byron one day and actually Lane kind of took us around and showed us some traditional Aboriginal shots, you know, boomerangs and amazing Aboriginal artwork. Byron Bay is really renowned for being somewhat of a hippie town, but the greatest thing about it is that it has every part of the Australian culture in it, you know, from the Aboriginal culture to the surf culture, from inland to coast, it really has it all and you go there to experience it. The people here is really open. I met Lainey and she just show everything for us, you know, stay together and enjoy and surf. This place has been so amazing. You know, we've gotten to do everything from going up in a helicopter to surfing, and we've really gotten the chance to experience the land. It's definitely can't wait to come back here one day. us realize how unique life really is.
Let's be.